All right, guys, I thought it was important that I get out and do a video today. Uh, it's really, really cold. I missed Breakfast Club and I missed uh, 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 Coffee Club this morning. Um, it's, it is cold, but it's warmed up. The sun's out a little bit. Uh, it is still cold, but we're going to go down and get a coffee. I figured you guys could come with, and uh, if anything exciting happens, of course, uh, you're with me. Thanks for coming, and uh, let's go. It's not too, too bad out right now. Like I say, the, since the sun is out, it's not too bad at all. Oh, <laughs> my, uh, my ribs are kind of hurting. I've, uh, I, uh, I was helping out a buddy a couple days ago. This is how much I haven't been working or getting exercise. So I, uh, I helped out a buddy, Ken, a couple days ago, uh, installing two beams in, uh, in a client's garage. And uh, I wouldn't say I overstrained myself because that wasn't what happened. Uh, it was more like um, I, I got exercise that I wasn't used to. And uh, so yesterday, last night, my sides just tended to start cramping up. And uh, I actually was having some trouble um, when I was uh, going to sleep last night because of uh, my side cramping, my muscles on the sides. So, uh, so last night I didn't get a, I didn't get a super lot of uh, sleep, uh, but enough. Uh, but because of all the cramping, it actually hurt my ribs a little bit. So this morning, uh, just now, I mean. When I was strapping on my body armor, uh, it was actually making my uh, it was actually making my uh, thing uh, my ribs actually twinge a little in pain.
thanks for coming and hanging out with me guys um i really appreciate it i uh one of the things uh that i like most about uh youtubing and being uh i wouldn't really even call myself a vlogger uh maybe a pseudo vlogger because i don't really fill you guys in in a lot of uh any real personal stuff or uh anything like that uh i disseminate public information uh videoing in public and uh publishing it for perusal so I think it's probably more likely um, that I'd be, I'd, I'd list myself more as a documentarian. <laughs> I don't know if that's actually a word. Documentarian. Um, it's basically saying that I will, uh, I'll document uh, things that I can see in public, things that anything that I can see uh, uh, that occurs uh, from public view, pretty much. Um, Oh, like this guy ain't a cop, eh? You see the extra uh, tint on it? On his windows? Any other uh, car would get pulled over easily because of the tint. And because uh, he's an undercover or uh, just a cop, he's not going to get pulled over for that. It's way past regulation tint, uh, definitely. Oh, yeah. Total undercover. Holy shit. Holy shit. That trailer there that just went by, he's uh he's dragging the trailer. It looks like the uh the wheels actually locked up on it. Yeah, I, I, I've, uh, <coughs> excuse me, sorry guys, uh, I've shied away from, um, making my channel a, uh, like a diary channel, you know what I mean? Um, to me, uh, that would connotate the true meaning of, uh, of, uh, a vlogger right um it's basically a video diary right whereas uh basically i'm just a videographer i video stuff i think is interesting or uh i'll video as matter of course and uh, if anything in that video is uh is disseminable uh if i can disseminate that info uh separately as a smaller clip i'll do that such uh a prime example would be the um, the tree falling over uh, video. Tree gets blown over, where uh, that actual moment where the tree falls over is separately clipped from um, from a longer video, right? And uh, as long as I can get a longer video out uh, and even take that short clip out of there, that's perfect for me. Uh, and I can disseminate and edit two, two distinct videos. Hey guys, how's your coffee? You're okay? Yeah. Murray, what? you need a coffee? No, oh, no we're, good. Uh, we're good. We're good. Coffee, please. How's your day been? Oh, Busy? Uh, it'll, it'll, uh, I'm, I feel so bad for you guys because you guys are really, you know, you're the epitome of a small time business and, uh, and, and you certainly don't need this yeah. coronavirus crap. Yeah, you can't do nothing. Yeah. How long, uh, how much longer do you think it's all going to go? Less than another year, right? It'll be over in less yeah. than a year. Yeah. You said how long we have, we have. How long do you think this coronavirus is going to be? Less than another year, right? Maybe this year. <laughs> we'll, we'll get it out of there. 
See you later. High finance are going on here. Uh, oh, geez, you guys are plotting, plotting the next big investment. Nice. Beautiful day. It turned out not bad at all. Yeah, yeah it's a stress boat day. Yeah. What is, what is the temperature? Uh, I think like minus eight. What is that building? Which one of you guys got a cigarette? I do. Awesome, awesome. I'm going to have to borrow your lighter too. I didn't even bring a lighter with me. Thanks, sir. Yeah, it was so cold this morning. I didn't even bother getting up for... for oh, I got smokes at home. I just didn't have one now. I'll hang out and uh, have a smoke with you guys. Yeah, it was so cold. Did, did anybody even show up? No, nobody. Hmm. Well, your mom's looking in. No, 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 I'm good. I'm, I'm overdressed, actually. The other day when I was here, I didn't get in because I was, you had no idea. I had uh, two shirts, an undershirt, uh, uh, a black neoprene jacket. Uh, it's like an air jacket, thin, uh, and then two hoodies, and then, of course, my fucking, my fucking jacket. So I, I felt like the Michelin man, man. My arms were out like this. I was walking like I was a tough guy, and I'm, <laughs> it's my jacket. Oh, I was so warm. I was sweating in my pits just lightly, you know what I mean? But I kind of knew what was I was facing, right? I knew it was cold. I missed the gang at Coffee Club. They all showed up. Over at Farmer's Market. Yeah, they all showed up. Oh, the breakfast. Is it still going? Yeah, they do it all year round. Breakfast every morning, free. Do, do they let you take one for your wife or not? Yeah, of course. Well, they know Tammy though. They know I'm not just lying to get a, you know, get an extra one. I, uh, we, we did a, uh, did I tell you? I, Ken, I remember that day I left with Ken? We went and uh, put it, it was only a short job, like uh, two hours, uh, including travel time. But uh, it was putting in two uh, six to 800 pound beams into a garage uh, attic space. Yeah, it was crazy. But we had six people there and they were all really fit and good. So it worked out, it worked out really well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you gotta have enough guys or you're gonna kill you. Yeah, yeah. I got a little video the other day of little Zim freaking out and making threats and being Zim, right? And yeah. To who? Uh, oh, uh, to little Melissa and Brittany, I guess, or little Melissa and uh, just various people, Danny Marr and whatnot, right? There's so, uh, right? So somebody told them. There was only 19 views on the video that night. Yeah, in the morning, first thing he does is come up and, I, I, what's this I hear about a video? Yeah. But I told him, right, I'm, I'm a YouTuber. I'm going to do that. I have to, right? Yeah, but you're a candid camera YouTuber. Yeah, yeah. No, well, no. Most Here's the difference between me and most YouTubers. Most YouTubers walk around with the idiot sticks, right? The little selfie sticks. And that's what they're poking in people's faces, right? Hey, Murray, how you doing, right? My name's Sarah Titius. You don't even know I'm filming. Until you're on the That's internet. Mean, yeah. Know. But I like doing it that way because people act more natural. Of right? If you if I if I say, hey guys, sometimes I will. Like sometimes I'll go to Farmer's Market and I'll say, hey guys, good morning, say hi to the viewers. And then other times I, I won't say nothing. And I find that when I don't say anything, they act a little more real, right? But I love their enthusiasm. I've got uh, I've got about three or four of them that whenever I show up they kind of make a big deal out of it. So oh, it's very nice to have the the, the uh, in front of a camera. the enthusiasm, yeah. And they're always trying to promote my channel, so I'm always very very pleased with that. What was it here? Your uh, glasses. 
Think of everything, eh? I managed to get a John visit in the other day to video and he came over. It was pretty good. He was telling us about how his mom beat him up with a with a broom. <laughs> Hit him in the head four times, full swings with a broom. Um, because he wanted to go drinking. We're sitting there thinking that this was like, you know, a tale from when he was a kid, right? Fuck, he turns out he's 44 when this happened. 44 and his mom we was giving him. I said, so did you end up going drinking? He says, oh, of course, he says. That's funny. Well, he, uh, well, you can understand his mom's point of view, but. I wonder what he's like around his mom. You think he reverts to childhood? <laughs> yeah, maybe. Nah. <laughs> he's suddenly baby boy John. <laughs> me. God bless him. <coughs> <coughs> oh, I love having John over, though. <laughs> He's a lot of fun. <laughs> well, lots would argue different. <coughs> oh, some of the things he comes out with, right? You just, you just, you can't. There's nothing to compare. There's no actual comedian out there now that does some of the, you know, that says some of the shit. Did you hear him the other day? He's talking about getting a sexually transmitted fucking disease on his mouth because he went down on some nasty woman's dirty business. And he got a fucking big boil on the top of his mouth that he had to go to a doctor to get fucking gushed. And, he, and when it burst, it came out all yellow and bloody and he almost puked and shit. And was it a sexual... Yeah, of course. He got fucking syphilis of the mouth <laughs> or something or something. See the dirty skank. Yeah, yeah. I assume that's one of the six women that he's he's diddled. <laughs> Given all his wacky adventures, I'm glad he made it. <laughs> <coughs> Do you think eventually he'll have to go on meds? Who? John. Because it's not like he's going to get better. He's, ah. Right? He's not going to get better and stop crazy tales and stop being John. It's just going to get worse. Isn't he on meds? No, right. no. No. Oh. He definitely should be, though, <laughs> uh, just for his schizophrenia. Right? Right now it's controllable, right? He can control it. <coughs> what? He's, you think he's got schizophrenia? Oh, fuck yeah. He does? Yeah. He hears voices. You see him sitting out here talking to himself. He's not fucking around there. Oh, he's God. actually talking to himself. Talking away and answering and all that. Yeah. 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 That's the... No, that's, that's it. That's the... He's hearing voices. He talks to himself. It's not like me and you where we, you know... You're not 100% convinced. You're fuck not, yeah. Oh, you're yeah. not 100% sure that he's... No, terrible. no, I'm not a doctor, but uh, judging by all the symptoms yeah. and by what he portrays himself as, oh yeah, he's even said it. Oh yeah, I hear voices. Oh, he's, he told you that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He says that a, a doctor at one time did prescribe, like, he diagnosed him, but he never got prescription for it. He never got treatment for it, right? He you says... Know what I, you know, I was telling Victor the other day, and... Uh, and it happened again, uh, it happened again yesterday. I think that's uh, dead. I'm, I'm, uh, well, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, for some reason I like to be left alone. And, uh, when somebody that's nothing, them, though. That's when, you, when, you're an yeah, introvert. Yeah. Uh, but when somebody knocks on my door, it's always Sammy. Mm -hmm. and it's, it's always true, because he likes me. But I fucking heard a knock on the fucking door, and, uh, I actually heard it, but it wasn't. There wasn't no knock on the door. No, it's and it's that and the happens. other day I heard something, and I heard something else. I'm, I'm, oh, I had a I had a fla uh, electrical flash, so I'm fucking wondering what's fucking happened to me. Look. Your eyes? In your eyes? Oh, no, he just saw a, a light. It just flashed. To see, it's probably something to do neurological. Your head, like a, your brain. That's not gonna stay, Rick. Oh, there you go. Brain
Wayne Grant. But but he, but hearing uh, somebody knock on the door and, and, and nobody door. there. No, yeah, that's all right. <laughs> Well, it, it happens. It's, it's, the, new to, it's new to me. Uh, the other day, I swore I heard me and my wife. We both heard someone say, uh, "Say Dwayne in my place, Dwayne," uh, very gently, and uh, there was no one there. I went outside. There was no one at the door. There was no one there. And you both at the same time. Oh, we time. both heard it. We both heard it. The fuck's yeah, that? we both heard it. It, it was just What's a very soft voice said, "Dwayne," and there was no one there. It was just me and her, right? And it spooked maybe us. Maybe it's the fire. Maybe it's the vaccine. It spooked us, and I actually went and checked the door just to make sure someone wasn't out there yelling for Dwayne, right? <laughs> yeah, it was weird. <laughs> I'll tell you something, okay? You guys don't laugh. When I was a kid, me and my buddy, we were 17 in Victoria, <coughs> and this was at the height of Micronaut acid era. We took 10 hits a piece, 10 Micronauts a piece. And we went out walking around the town. Um, we went through the city park and we saw an elf. I swear to God, listen to this. Wait, wait, this is how I know it was real. Number one, after it happened, we both described it, right? We described what we saw, right? And we both described his little outfit, uh, his, what he was wearing. Uh, I noticed, for example, a detail that he didn't notice, but he recalled after was on the end of his sword. He had a little red ruby on the hilt, on the pommel, you know? uh leather scabbard he was dressed in old time clothing he didn't he had like slippers like leather <laughs> leather fucking shoes right leather yeah and just little details that we switched up afterwards okay here's the thing we walked around this stone this big huge boulder and he was walking the other way towards us and the second we both saw each other me and him and, and my buddy we all three of us stopped we were looking at him when we all three of us stopped in the time it took for me to look at my buddy and and then look back he just ran around the corner we just we just caught the ass end of him going around the corner it's not that big a rock right we were literally three steps from the view to see so we took those three steps of course right and he was gone there was nowhere for him to go he just needed to get out of our line of sight right that's all he needed was out of our line of sight he was gone yeah um but it was just you know and he he noticed uh, the buckles on the little elf shoes and the buckle on his uniform that was holding his belt the sword belt on um the facial stubble right like it's a little fucking elf like this tall but he, he had facial stubble he had beard like it just was like in the four day old beard like type in, thing just like in the books it was fucking crazy man <laughs> never seen anything else like it again but I think what happened was that the uh, sheer amount of acid we took unlocked a portion of our brain that generally stops us from seeing things like that. Well, I think fun. they're all around. That's I think fun. they're all around us. We just don't see them. As, as, we, as we as a man, we progressed. We lost the ability to see a lot of shit. Um, I think the acid unlocked, uh, unlocked it. But two well, people, well, two well, people I, can't hallucinate the same uh, thing to that you, detail. I wouldn't think so. No. This hasn't happened to me lately, but I can remember growing up and, and uh, thinking you see something. And it's never there, of course, right? But you swear you saw something. But you know, I, I've never, I'm not prone to that kind of shit. I, I've never had, you know how we, we, we never really hallucinate on acid, right? We get the, 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 the little twinges of reality, right? Like little... Uh, distortions but you never actually really hallucinate right like you you know you know what I mean saying you don't see shit like that dragons unicorns stuff like that right so it wasn't just a regular high it was it unlocked something and we were able to see it but it wasn't bad we had, it, it was this whole incident only took about four minutes but we talked about it for about two hours after right yeah 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 it was in the middle of a big city too. It was just this big massive park in a big city, kind of like High Park, and they had this rock formation and we just happened to be laughing our heads off and walking around being stoned out of our heads, right? And then we both well, the, just- Well, the best solidity think, you got there is you, is you both uh, at the same- uh, At the yeah, same time, we both stopped dead. All three of us stopped dead. Stopped we all were looking at each other. You know what was the weird too? Chances you think of the same thing is, uh, is, uh, but it wasn't like we were talking about elves and Middle Earth or anything like that. In fact, I don't even think he was into that. I generally, at the time, I was more into girls and stuff, right? We we'll changed the topic for a second. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what was that picture I showed you earlier? 
Maybe it's Wayne Sr. But anyway, some guy took a picture. I don't know, was it the moon? Oh, or was yeah, it the moon yeah. or the stars? I forget it. Anyway, he did it every day for 48 weeks and then put it on a, uh, on a sheet all together and it has the shape of infinity. Oh, really? That's no, cool. No Look it that, up. That's very cool. No, well, I'm not making this up. Do you know up. what it's called? Or do you know the artist? Like, that's a pretty vague description. Do you have a name for uh, what it was I called? I, or? I I, no, it's on my phone. It's just a guy. guy. It's just a guy with a... In, uh, 48 pictures uh, 48 pictures of the moon. All right, all right. Cool, cool, cool. And, and it shows you it's fucking perfect. That's amazing. Just a guy that... All right. There's a dude that he does videos with a high, 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 high quality camera telescope. It's a telescope that's specifically for taking photos, right? So what he does is he takes photos of the moon. Well, and he's and he actually has multiple instances of this event. Well, one day he was filming the moon and fucked if he didn't notice. Uh, you know, like on TV screens, remember the old TV screens when it wasn't quite in, 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 in tune and you'd get that line of go down and then it would snap into shape and maybe once in a while another line would come down there was one of those that went over the surface of the moon just a line of distortion it went i followed the moon he did a close-up after on the edges where you could actually see the the curvature of the moon and then as it went down it bulged so if this thing followed the bulge and then went back down to normal um, he also did it in multiple speeds to show that it's entirely artificial. It's nothing that's natural, right? It's nothing. It's just this thin line of, and you can literally see the, the, it going, following down along the moon, the line across the, and he's got multiple instances. Here's the thing. There's four, there's now, since this came out and he discovered it and showed it to the world, his name's Crow777 on YouTube. There's now four other uh, guys who do what he does that have captured this event on the moon, this 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 digital, and what it looks like is a, is a hologram. To me, it looks like it's, 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 it's re-resolutioning a hologram or an image, you know what I mean? Weird yeah. shit, eh? Oh, yeah. And one last, what, one last thing about the moon, when they did, uh, the, did you know it's hollow? Yeah, yeah. They heard fucking launched one. two I, of the lander modules back one. at the moon. You ever heard this one? Yeah. Tell them. Tell one them. of the, what, when they take off, it's, they're taking off in two big components off the surface of the moon. And once they reach a certain height, one of these components breaks off and drifts off. Well, they decided to actually explosively do push it kick it back into the or the, the the moon and when it impacted the the moon seismic sensors and sensors on the moon recorded it ringing the moon rang for the first time it rang for 14 hours it, it, like a bell Ding, generally going softer and softer for 14 hours and then the second time they did it at a little bit higher altitude it, it, re it resonated for 16 hours that was two of the lander modules that they kicked back and they, they wanted to test it and the second one was to test to make sure that they didn't fuck up when they weren't hearing just weird shit from the first one this is not made up no nope, this is actually documented and yet and yet they've refused to can I get one more off you they've actually refused to uh like they they come up with some sort of bullshit explanation right oh it's just cavernous and cavern uh, caves and you know like fuck off it's it's it, it's hollow it's an artificial construct did you know that every single moon moon in our solar system rotates a certain way except our moon our moon rotates the other way Every single moon of every single planet in our solar system, Saturn, Titan, uh, Saturn, Uranus, Jupiter, they all have little moons and they all rotate the one way, except our moon. It rotates the other way. Crazy shit, eh? I wonder why, I wonder why, uh, does that matter? Hmm? Would that matter which way it rotates? Do you think they no, 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 but if 99% if of things do things one way and yeah, one yeah. thing does it the other, yeah, that's yeah. an anomaly, yeah. right? That's not normal, that's an, an anomaly, so. Right? But having said that, and I believe it, no question. But, but there is a, somewhere, someplace, a long time ago, a way, way out there, there's a planet that's doing something different than the rest of them. <coughs> uh, I don't know what it's doing, but it's doing something really different. I think you're talking about um, 
it, it's it, its orbit is reversed. It goes good. the wrong way. It, every other good. planet goes yeah. this way yeah. around the sun, and this one for some reason yeah. goes the other way. Yeah. yeah, I've heard of that too. The the most common explanation theory for that is it's not actually from our system. It wasn't a very. So what happened was it came in, it got caught in our our sun's gravitational, and just yeah, happened yeah. to be on the right side of the yeah. sun when it came by, and not the left. And that's the only reason why it got captured in our. Yeah. But weird, eh? Yeah, it's totally uh, totally weird shit. Any excitement out here while you guys have been here? No crashes, no loon bags, no nut jobs. Uh, anybody else come out? Looks like what you need. Uh, oh, you broke into a pack. Well, I'm going to have one more before I go. You want to listen to it? Oh, you already have them? Wow, you guys are like addicts when you get resupplied, open packs everywhere, you're smoking two at a time, putting them out halfway, you don't give a shit. No, you got a whole... We're big shots. <laughs> well, this is what I have left this morning. Ah, oh, you didn't smoke much. I had one today. You know, what's a prick? Sid was a smoker. Quit. Quit, but quit. And then now he's fucking. Uh, then he went back buying cigarettes. Then he quit again because it's too expensive. Uh, but he's still. Uh, he's, now he's starting to boot cigarettes. Isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it a mm -hmm. fucking vicious fucking circle? Is huh? yeah. Huh? Oh, that's cool. Look at a big muffler out of the front of his car. He's got eh? It's like a t tractor muffler. That's pretty cool. <laughs> it's unique. Hey, you want to run me home? Save me a walk? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. What's with the sheet down? What's with the sheet down? You had Pam in here? Fresh air feels right. Or John? Uh -huh. I mean, that's not, it's not fucking. No, it's, it's not fucking. No, it's not fucking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, put that in the car. Oh, it's just me? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Right, I thought, it was, I thought you were going to do this because you never leave money laying around, though. No, I told you. <laughs> <laughs> that's for eight. Eight, seven, eight, seven, eight, seven, eight, seven, eight, seven, eight. All right, I'm going to close out my video, guys. What? <laughs> hey, thanks for watching. I really appreciate you coming and hanging with me. Um, I really appreciate the views. You guys keep leaving the likes. Uh, keep checking out my older playlists. And uh, I will see you guys on the next one. Thanks for coming. Bye-bye, guys.